Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, here I have a NixOS virtual machine. As you can see, I have installed it. And I, I've seen that the most watched video on this channel was about the Nix package manager. And when we think of Nix, there is something also related to it, which is a full distribution that runs that package manager and has its own uh, special characteristics. So, one of the main things, or one of the things that I used to do, is establishing SSH, SSH connection, as you have seen in many videos. And mo in most of my videos, I do SSH connections in order to achieve and do the processes that I'm doing all the time. I have virtual machines, I con connect to them in order to make the visual appearance better for you to see the comments and everything. I hope they are clear enough for you. So, let me make this bigger. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, establish SSH connection to your NixOS, how you can also set up an SSH server on your NixOS box or machine. Uh, you may wonder, is it the same as the normal way? No, it's not the same. That's why I'm making this video. When I'm talking about the the other ways or the normal way the other ways is if you are using for example ubuntu and you don't have ssh installed on your on your machine you just run sudo apt install open ssh server if i'm not mistaken you run it and then you run this command sudo system ctl enable or start if you don't want to make it enabled by default, you can just start. Or if you want to start it and enable it, you just type this command and then I guess SSH D. That's for Ubuntu. Uh, on the other distributions, you may have it installed and configured by default. You may simply need to start the service or enable it by running systemctl enable dash dash uh, now SSH D like for example on Arch it comes by default installed okay but for NixOS as you know uh, if you know already NixOS NixOS is managed by preparing some configuration files and then generating the system configurations and the setup of the packages following that file or those files they can be only one or they can be more depending on the case so to do the setup we go to uh, etc mix os configuration this file configuration.nix you put your sudo password and then you scroll, scroll down you look for uh, the stuff I'm going to show you it's about enabling the service it's about uh, multiple things here we have our user we'll, go, we'll come back to it so We need to enable this thing, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, GNU PG SSH support. I guess it's about encryption. That one is needed. So we enable the service by and commenting this thing, and then uh, for the firewall, we put the port 22, the default port, the default port for. Uh, SSH, you all know it. This one, you better keep it true so your firewall is enabled. 
this thing should always be on and enabled on any system. Any system should have a firewall running. So once you enable the firewall, this one, you put 22, the default part for SSH. If you don't want your firewall to be enabled, I don't think you need to uncomment this thing. If your firewall is disabled, just comment it. Okay. And then let me check if there is anything else. All right. So this is the first step. You save and exit. And then you run this command, ssh keygen. Here you press enter. That's what I pressed. Here as well you press enter. If you don't want to press passphrase. It says your public key has been saved in this directory. We will add it. We will add the public key to the configuration file by uh, adding a variable that I'm going to show you right now. Alright, so we go back to the configuration file, this one, we scroll down to the place of the user where we've seen our user, and then, yes, this one, uh, at the end of extra groups, we add this one, we add this line that so open ssh dot authorized keys dot keys space equals and then brackets and then you uh, let's just keep, make it empty like this we close the brackets and semicolon we save it and then it says here your public key has been saved in this place so we take this one paste it here cut we take starting from this big a to this equal sign copy it like this and then go back to the configuration file scroll down to the empty place that we have prepared already and then we paste it right there You got me? Hope it's clear. We paste it between the double quotation marks inside the brackets. Okay? You make this variable openssh dot authorized keys dot the key the key uh, the key in this authorized keys should be big and then keys on lowercase. This K is uppercase, this one. Is it clear? And then you open, you, st you uh, type the equal sign, and then brackets, double quotation mark, inside of them you put your public key that we find after running ssh-keygen. We exit after we save, for sure. Alright, before that, if we check the service of ssh, we will get this thing, sshd says unit ssh d dot service could not be found this is before applying the new configuration to the system and we're, not, we're gonna get it in our grab menu so the next thing we do to make these uh, changes like uh, perform it on the system we run this command nixos build switch enter XOS build. Sometimes this command does not run, so we need to switch to root, if I'm not mistaken. So, mix OS build no switch. Enter. Rebuild. Rebuild. <laughs> rebuild sorry. Exit. Let's run it with rebuild. I'm wrong. Alright, stand by, takes few few seconds, it's gonna do the stuff that we need, and then we will successfully uh, establish an SSH connection to our SSH server on our NixOS. Alright, it sounds like it's done. Let's check the service 
from it we can decide or we can know if it's working you can see that it works already and if we want to connect to it let's take the IP address which we, which is 107 and we should remember the username which is in our case Nixer and as usual like a simple this is like the last step and sim maybe the simplest to connect to our SSH server that we're gonna re control it remotely and then we're there if we type IP space A it's the same as this is it clear? I hope it's clear for you if you face any errors don't hesitate to comment down below if you have any suggestions it's the same it's the same also you can comment down below i have also my discord server you can contact me there uh, don't forget to subscribe like share thanks for watching cheers